the Washington Monument. What the hell is this thing? With all due respect, of course, uh, let's take our memories back and imagine ourselves centuries ago as members of the Founding Fathers or people who were fighting in the Revolutionary War. And one guy says to some other people, hey, you know, it's pretty cool, right? Uh, George Washington, we should build him a statue or something. Yeah, fully, but uh, like, what are we gonna do? They ended up with this, hardly a statue, but definitely something that makes an impression. Okay, we're kidding a little bit, but the point is this. The Washington Monument, whether you love it or hate it, is one of the most iconic and memorable structures here in Washington, D.C., if not in the entire nation. Here are four things you might not know about it. Number one, the idea for what this would eventually become actually started brewing before Washington was elected president. It goes back to 1783. That conversation we had at the top, oh, hey, Washington, this is pretty cool. Yeah, fully, let's build something about it. That did happen way back in 1783. And the thing wasn't finished until 1888. That's when it officially open to the public and uh spoiler that's not what it was supposed to look like you can see how construction came and went based on the different uh colors of the stone used in the quarry you'll see it's lighter at the bottom uh darker at the top because their paws were so long in construction that they could not use stone from the same quarry boom number two what was it supposed to look like this is this is a weird thing all right, so originally, the design was something called a pantheon. That's a sort of temple, non-Christian, uh, that incorporates uh, different statues, right? Uh, you'll think of the idea of a, a pantheon of gods, for instance, in Greek or Roman mythology. So here was the, this concept of this, this temple laid out with uh, around 30 stone columns, different statues of figures from the Revolutionary War, signers of the Declaration of Independence, and then atop of it, uh, there would be Washington, in, like on a chariot with horses and stuff, and uh, then there would be this 600-foot obelisk, this thing, rising from the center of the temple. Which brings us to point number three, what's an obelisk? Why an obelisk? We don't have a uh, an obelisk for Lincoln. We don't have a Martin Luther King obelisk. So, so what gives? Well, it is true that George Washington was a Freemason and you see some of these sorts of symbols in other Masonic architecture, sure, but an obelisk is a very old design. It dates all the way back to builders in ancient Egypt who referred to it as a tech uh, And this is usually found at the entrance or associated with temples, again, ancient temples. We're talking ancient religion. I mean, we're not talking like eldritch, Lovecraftian, Cthulhu stuff. Uh, age of man, for sure, but uh, age of ancient civilization. Boom. Number four. Okay, so if you are at the very top there, at the apex of the Washington Monument, let's say uh, you're parachuting down, having one of those national treasure moments, you and Nick Cage or whatever, and uh, you land on the monument and just grab, grab the very top of it at the summit there, uh, you'll find an aluminum cap. But this is no ordinary aluminum capstone. No, in fact, it has writing on each of the four directions around it. And on the east facing side, there is a phrase, just a phrase. The other three sides have um, dedications like you would expect the architects, the, the other people involved. But this one, the eastern facing side, only has a two word phrase, Laos Deo, the translation being praise be to God. And for a lot of people, this is an interesting thing, especially, you know, considering it's an obelisk and uh, considering it's supposed to be part of a different kind of temple, at the very least an homage to an earlier religion. Uh, and even deified in some ways the Founding Fathers. So as you walk up this structure, at the various landings, you will see dedications, prayers from other places, other states and stuff. Uh, this is actually a, a very religious building when you think about it. And that's one of the things that a lot of people don't know. Oh, the last, last thing about it. When it was originally part of this temple, it was gonna be 600 feet tall. When construction was completed, it was open to the public, 1888, it was 555 feet 
tall. And this doesn't even get into the original plans, the statue of George Washington uh, in a toga. True story. That was going to be the that was going to be the monument. That statue was made. It was unpopular with the public, but it's still around today. Thanks for watching. You can find more on Washington, the city and the guy here represented by an obelisk uh, and Freemasons if you check out our channel. Also, check out our audio podcast where we go more in depth on everything from UFO abductions to government cover-ups.